feel like it might have been the, the best day for the receiver so far. Agree, disagree, not sure? Or... Uh, I usually reserve that right until after I watch the tape. Uh, it felt like it was a good day. Yeah. You feel like you know, where you guys? Where do you feel like you guys left off last spring and where you're at now? Where I think it's night and day. I think it's night and day. I think the guys know what to do, so now they can kind of focus on the technique and the detail and the how to do it. Uh, and ultimately, that's the most important thing is how you do it. Uh, and so I just think in the spring they were just learning it. It was like learning a new language. Now it's like, hey, what is the the you know the subtleties to it uh, when the defense of variables change? When you're learning just a new playbook, you have a lot of new players on this team. Do you feel like the spring they kind of nailed most of it down so they're able to kind of focus more on their technique, playing faster during fall camp now? Yeah, I think that's what you're seeing uh, in some of the guys. It's just a comfort level that wasn't there in the spring. So now it's, you know, they can take it to the next level and keep progressing. It looks like you're kind of starting to develop at least a, a group of four that are could be kind of guys that count like Clemens and, and Noga and Trent Walker and David Wells. Is that, I mean, is that fair to say that those four have kind of um, established I think, themselves near the top? Yeah, I think they're playing good ball. Uh, I think Taz Reddick's is playing as good as anybody this, this fall camp. Yeah. Um, you know, if we had to play a game tomorrow, there's no way he wouldn't be on the field. I think the dude's playing really good football right now. Yeah. What has Darius Clemens brought to the receiver room? Uh, what he brings to the earth. He's a good dude. He's a good football player. He's got size. He can run. Uh, you know, but he's still progressing and learning. And, you know, he didn't do anything in the spring, so he's got to knock the rust off his game a little bit. Uh, but but he's awesome. Good good to have. Good energy. Uh, he's got a maturity about him that, that I appreciate. Uh, he's super coachable. Uh, you can you can get on him when he makes a mistake. and He wants to be coached, which I think uh, is the most important thing for any player is to want to be coached. As the as the receivers coach, what is the difference between coaching last year's group with all the experienced guys and this year's with not anywhere near that? Um, you don't take for granted what you think they know, because in some instances they they don't. With this group, um, you know, last year we had a group of guys that had done it. Um, the, honestly, the biggest difference is probably the meeting room. Like we don't have the guys in the room that can uh, catch my 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 flaws when I miss a coaching point. Last year, Anthony Gould could say, hey, coach, no, I remember when Isaiah Hodgins was here, you told him to do that. Uh, we don't have anybody that's kind of that guy in the meeting room. So I think that's really the biggest place it shows up. So I just got to do a better job and uh, really be focused on making sure that I detail everything I teach and say because it's a, it's a good chance that it's the first time they've heard it. Do you think um, players look at you or listen or do anything to you differently because you filled that role as an interim coach last year and that experience? Do you think they, they look at you any differently or listen um, any differently? I, I haven't felt that. That'd probably be a question for them. Uh, I, I don't feel any different, I guess. Uh, I, don't, I don't see a difference. More of the defensive guys I know now. I know better. I got better relationships with some of the guys that I didn't coach uh, in different position rooms. That's probably the biggest difference, yeah. which, is, which is really cool. As somebody who does first hand look at the quarterbacks, just how do you assess that group right now when how do you assess the chemistry building between those guys in your group right now? Yeah, honestly, man, I got my hands full with the room I got. Um, I, I don't spend too much time critiquing those guys. You know, they got the head coach and the offensive coordinator, and they got plenty of people in that room working with that group. So uh, I support them in the ways that you support all the players on the team, but I'm not, uh, I got enough on my plate with, with the guys I coach. Jordan Anderson was a you know early enrollee in the spring and getting back in fall camp. Uh, just what's his progress been like as as a freshman on the squad right now? Uh, good. You know he's a freshman on the squad, so I think every day he's learning something new, uh, progressing. I think it'd be unfair to him to expect him to do anything other than be a freshman and continue to learn and grow. And um, there's no expectation on what he's supposed to do. I think we just take it day by day, and uh, he's progressing. I think normally, um, but yeah, like there's no you know. The recruiting piece of it, you know, I know sometimes guys get, and in, in, when I say guys, I mean people outside the, the building, you know, the four-star, five-star, he's supposed to be this, he's supposed to be that. He's a freshman learning a college offense, playing college football for the first time, and that's not lost on me. So we're going to take it day to day, and uh, he's he's a trooper. He's going to learn from his mistakes. He wants to be coached. I think he's a mentally tough kid, and, uh, you know, we'll see where he's at uh, once we get to game week. We've talked a lot about David Wells' speed. Uh, saw it on display today and some of the 11-on-11 11 11 stuff. Just, uh, you know, also, again, what are you seeing out of him and what's really stuck out to you? 
Uh, Dave's progressing. You know, he's another guy who's a redshirt freshman. Um, you know, what I tell Dave is, hey, man, it's, it's your opportunity now. You know, you're not in the room last year where it was probably just not a lot of snaps to be had. Now is an opportunity for you to go out there and earn a starting job, really. Uh, and I think he's he's uh, warmed up to that, and I think he's working at that. And, uh, again, he's another guy that's working his tail off and getting better every day. And, uh, and he does have some juice, and he's gained a good amount of weight in the offseason. He didn't lose speed. Um, so, you know, I think the sky's the limit for him. I know that you said that your hands full with, with your own room, but what is the relationship like between the receivers and the quarterbacks? Uh, you know, the biggest thing we want those guys to do is take ownership of it. You know, when there's an incompletion in practice instead of coaches, you know, I want those guys to talk to the quarterbacks. Hey, what did you see? What did you think I was going to do? Uh, because at the end of the day, you know, I tell the players all the time, part of being a really good player is overcoming coaching, right? And going out there and making a play despite what the playbook route depth might say or whatever. Like, you got to be able to, you know, you play the game, you're in the lines. And so I think that relationship between the quarterbacks and the receivers has got to be one of trust and communication ultimately at the end of the day because it's, it's a marriage. And when you have a quarterback like Ben that's been here for a while, do you feel like he is kind of helps not only the quarterbacks along, but also the receivers with that communication at all? Yeah, because he, he drives it. I think he can go grab a young guy and say, hey, look, this is what I'm thinking on this play. Um, you know, I, I think it's the same when you have young coaches that are trying to find their voice. I think young players are kind of the same way. You, you don't really know that you have a voice until somebody gives you that green light and that, that authority to tell you, hey, uh, talk to me about this. You know, what are you seeing? What are you doing? Um, and so, yeah, I think Ben's been here. He's been around uh, some really good players, both receivers and quarterbacks. And so he knows what it's supposed to look like and sound like and what that relationship's supposed to be like. Thanks, Coach.